Okay, I hope you can see there. Because I can only just see there, but that screen looks good. So that means it's clean. Now I'm going to crawl out from under here and chat about that. So I recently bought this uh, Toyota Fortuner 2007 D4D. Uh, it's the 1KD FTV engine. I'm changing the oil now. Now I don't know the condition of the engine apart from that it's been serviced. It's got 317,000 kilometers on. It's been serviced every 10,000 Ks per the owner's manual. Um, I bought this from <laughs> We Buy Cars in an online auction. I'll make a video on that and I'll link it here somewhere, the whole story. Um, but anyways, I took a chance and it seems like I made a good buy. Um, but now the injectors is one of the things I don't know the condition of and I'm not going to rip it open. I'm still busy figuring out the tech stream to read the values. But I'm going to change the oil and after 3000 kilometers, I'm going to change it again and see how black it turned. Now, the idea is that if um, there's a lot of carbon going past the injector seals, it goes into the oil, turns it black, and then it also blocks up that um, screen that you saw there. Um, I'll show it up here on the screen now again. <laughs> that oil was dripping on me. That's why I had to stop. But anyways, it looks clean. So that's a good sign. This is after about 7,000 kilometers on um, this oil change, the previous oil change, which I didn't do. So now I'm going to change the filter. Um, and then I'll show you the oil I'm going to use. I can't get it out. But anyways, I'm going to use this. And the reason why I'm using this, I know people get crazy about oil. Uh, this is made for diesel engines it's made for to catch the carbon not to clog up the screen it's made to clean the engine it's more than uh, the uh, the grade of oil is more than good enough for for this engine which is 17 years old and um the temperature i mean the the viscosity is fine within the range so there's nothing wrong with that oil but it is mineral oil um but uh I'm going to, it was cheaper, so I just bought that, and because my other car uses it, and then I don't have half a bottle of something else. And then, after 3000 Ks, I'm going to check the, the, how clean the oil is, check the screen again, and then I'll put proper synthetic oil in it. Um, please comment below if you think that's a stupid idea. I don't think it'll make anything. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to show that screen there, um, and then I'll make a video on what it looks like after 3,000 kilometers. And the reason why I do it for 3,000 cases, it's 217 now. I want to get it to zero again, or, or like a, a round number, so uh, uh, 320,000 kilometers. And then from there on, I'll change it every 5,000. Because I think clean oil is probably the best you can do for this, because uh, you don't want to get the dreaded cracked pistons and all of that crap. So... Anyways, that's my plan. Let me know if you think it's rubbish. Um, yeah, see you next time. And then just very quickly, why can't all cars have their oil filter where you can easily access it like this? Um, and you can see there, it's got this nice little catch, catch groove there. So you don't make a mess, but it didn't even go in there. So, I mean, why can't they all make it so easy and accessible like that? Oh, and if you're wondering, genuine Toyota filter, which is the same for all, almost all Toyotas. I mean, the 22R from the 1980s uses the same as this diesel engine. That's awesome.